Often when I'm not at the rock climbing gym, all I can think about is the rock climbing gym. I wish there was a way that I could just bring the rock climbing gym to my house. Where are you, rocks? I know where you go. <laughs> Perfect. What do you think, duck? <laughs> I don't speak duck, but I'm gonna assume you said cool. Let's try this out. Hold my chalk, duck. Basically, uh, I glued rocks to a wall. I guess into video. Uh, I took rocks that I found outside, rocks that looked fun to grab and hold, and I glued them on the wall with epoxy. I'm actually really surprised with the results. Let's take a look at some of these holds that I've created, huh? So I found a lot of these really big holds with flat tops. Those are some of my favorite. For obvious reasons, they're very easy to stand on. And uh, in this basement, where the only protection is this gymnastics mat, I don't want to fall. This fun little painted one that I found on a walk, uh, this is supposed to be one of those fun little surprises that people who walk like find. You know, you paint rocks, you let other people find, it brings a little joy to their life. I decided to zap that joy from the potential lives of others uh, by stealing it and keeping it in my house for no one to see. Some more crimpy kind of holes. Those are fun. Uh, they're fun until you fall off of them. And they're also very sharp and uh, sometimes they do cut fingers, but you know. But Caleb, I hear you asking, how do you set routes in this super cool basement that I'm super jealous of, by the way? Uh, you should be jealous, it's very cool. Uh, setting routes is actually uh, kind of fun and pretty consistent with what you would imagine gym route setting being, at least in terms of uh, sequence and colors and stuff, not in terms of skills and uh, skills of route setters because obviously I'm not a route setter, never have set routes, and it would be really hard to set impressive routes, I think, with basically a flat wall and a bunch of rocks that are very similar in shape. So let's take a look at how I set up these holds, shall we? So we do use a, uh, a system here with colored dots to indicate holds that are part of a route. Uh, this S1 means this is start hold one, and up here you can see start hold two. So those would be the two start holds for that particular route. Also, you'll notice a direction arrow on the start hold. Uh, that is actually something we decided to do for traverse problems. So basically, the idea is that because this wall is very long and wide and not very tall, the way to get the most mileage out of the wall is to build problems that go left to right, and then also, as you'll see here in a bit, right to left. Uh, so this arrow indicates that once you touch this hold, you wanna go back to the start hold using all of the same holds that you just did. Also, you'll notice that we got super fun and actually have stickers that are not just colored stickers, but uh, Halloween stickers. And that also indicates a specific route. So you've got a skeleton up there, you got a skeleton up there. The type and pose of skeleton doesn't matter, just the fact that it's a skeleton. That's how you know it's all part of the same problem. And this is Duck. Duck is my best friend. Aw, thanks, Duck. Hey, you wanna climb with me, Duck? Let's go. I think I'm done. How about you, duck? <laughs> uh, compassionate and nice as always. You're great. <sighs> well, duck, I think this whole thing was a success, right? Yeah, yeah, I agree. Totally a success. Oh, 
you should check out some of my other videos. They don't all take place in basements. I swear, they're all pretty good, I would say. You should check out maybe like this one over here. Maybe that one. One of, the, one of those two is, is probably pretty good. Do it.